Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Salsa Kings Live. Happy New Year 2019. Absolutely incredible that we have been at this thing for 24 weeks now. Um, we have a very special guest for you. I know I say that every episode, but it really they really are really, really special guests every single time. Um, definitely have a really exciting episode for you. Um, um, as of very recently, uh, you know, we, we've gotten really tied, definitely a, an extremely busy guy, but he's been extremely patient with us to come onto the show and, 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 and develop and, and bring value to, to you, our viewers. And, and of course, uh, everybody in, in, uh, in the scene as well with everything that he's doing, um, Mr. Moshe Rassier, uh, dance is our business revolving more on specifically the business aspects when we're talking about uh, dance, um, I mean, definitely businesses, you know, you figure that it's unanimous across the board pretty much as far as for principles is concerned. Um, but it can, tends to be a little bit a little bit more difficult when you're talking about the arts in general. You definitely normally hear about, you know, the uh, uh, the common phrase, if you will, is the, you know, the starving, the starving artist, if you will. But Definitely, uh, there's some of us that are making it. There's definitely, you know, some hope for those of you that are looking to do the same thing. Um, so, Mr. Moshe Rassiet is definitely going to go ahead and make that happen for you. Uh, again, this is the live. This is the live version of of our of our podcast. Uh, if you are listening to the audio version of this, and you would like to receive text notifications on when it is that we do go live. Text the I N to the phone number six nine nine two two. So the phone number that you're going to text to is six nine nine two two, and you're going to put one word in there. It's join J O I N. That's going to go ahead and allow you to go ahead and receive when live with our guests. Uh, so we're definitely, obviously, taking um, you know questions, etc. This is one hundred percent interactive. Uh, to be able to continue to bring value to you. About our guest, uh, Mr. Moshe actually came here to Miami in 2003 from Israel. Um, he graduated uh, with his master's degree after passing his after his passing his bachelor's from uh, Nova, Nova Southeastern, has worked with Fortune 500 companies. Uh, as he was studying, he you know started up some dance lessons as kind of like we all did, and it became one of our our favorite hobbies, if you will. Um, and he ended up, you know, putting uh, two and two together and started up his own dance studio. Uh, did that for six years. Um, and as a kind of like a side business, if you will, ended up starting up a cruise for his students to be able to take advantage of and, and have fun with. Several years later, uh, we actually, the, the Aventura Dance Cruise has been Selling out like crazy has been an absolute experience for everyone that takes in part. Definitely an amazing, amazing time. I highly recommend it for those of you that uh, have not done so yet. Um, but I'm actually going to go ahead and throw something up here for you so that you guys can uh, take a look for yourselves on what this looks like. So take a minute and check this out. Only 60 seconds. So you guys see it there that one of the newest one of the newest um, additions to the to the Aventura Dance Cruise family, if you will. But I'm going to let him explain to that is his trip to Cuba. We are definitely really excited. The King's family is definitely going to be there 
and taking a part of that. We're super excited about that, but I'm not going to steal this man's fire. I'm going to go ahead and bring this man on board right now, Mr. Moshe Rassiel. Let me see if I can get this thing to work. <phone rings> Sir. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect, brother. How Don't you doing, man? Fire. Don't steal my fire. I like I that. Will not <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, man. Again, thank you so much for coming on board, brother. Really appreciate your time. Um, definitely, man. Uh, I know that you could bring a lot of value to our guests. That's why that we I've been so persistent with you, man. But thank you so much. Definitely really, really appreciated. You're welcome. Thank you for being persistent. This is really exciting, you know, except the ABC. It's probably the one, like one of the most <laughs> three, two, one, and the people are coming. So beautiful, man. And and thank you for uh, being persistent, you know. For sure, brother. Thank you again, man. I, I appreciate that. Um, so there's, it's very, it's very possible that a lot of our viewers are not exactly, um, that perhaps are not certain of exactly who is it that you are or what is it that you do, man. Uh, if you could, uh, to take a moment, let us know. You know, yeah, I guess I, I, I kind of covered it. I'm sure in a little bit, but if you can tell us a little bit about, I guess a little bit about your past. What's, what's kind of led you to develop what has become. Um, a very big part of a lot of people, a lot of social dancers and performers year. Uh, I, I mean, it's definitely something that I know that our organization looks forward to every single year. And now it's going to be multiple times a year. So congratulations on that, by the way. That's really, really an awesome feat. Um, as I know, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy to be in this business, man. But but please go ahead and take take the floor away, man. Tell us, tell us how this all happened and, and what's led you to, I guess, where we're at today. Thanks, man, and and thanks again for um, I'm being so political here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> but, uh, um, so, yeah, ABC is what we do. We excite, you know, people' lives, and um, uh, we do what we love. That's really in short, you know. Now, if you want uh, a little bit more, uh, like you mentioned at the beginning of the show, I moved here back in 2003. Went to school. I uh, got my bachelor's, my master's. At the time, I thought I'm going to go and um, get this uh, suit and work for corporate America, which I did, and really quick realized that it's not really for me, um, even okay. though it was a lot of fun at the time. I, while I was in school, uh, like many other people, I guess, uh, I started to take dance lessons. That was my escape. I actually um, I was looking for a hobby, something to do to kickstart my social life, um, to to meet new people. I was new to the area and um, I was looking from from piano lessons to hip hop lessons and, and guitar, like different things to do. And when I started to evaluate what I should do, um, piano, guitar, and all of those, those things won't get me really to get to know people and, and be out there. And then when I thought about dancing, you know, immediately think about hip hop, how cool is that? Let me <laughs> Absolutely. That was for my favor, uh, to my favor in a club. Um, but at the time, we we're talking about it's crazy to say, but 16 years back, 15 years back, um, hip hop was just like classes of hip hop or just for kids. So that really quick, after a couple of phone calls, I realized that, uh, uh, yeah, I'm too big for that. And, um, and then I remember that I took a couple of salsa lessons when I was in high school. So I said, you know what? Nice. That's it. So I started to look for location to learn I called a couple of places and actually the first person to call me back that's where I went to take classes so long story short moving forward to classes and like many other people uh, it became like an obsession uh, from take classes beginner intermediate advanced, and then you start to travel to congresses you spend all of your money on that <laughs> yes <laughs> for like sure videos. at the time we didn't have these things so I traveled with a camera and I recorded everybody and um, joined the student dance team. And it just, it, it was um, a, such a great experience. It helps me through school, if you ask me, not just because I met so many people. It was really my escape, you know, and, and I enjoyed it so much. And um, where am I? I lost track. So dancing, loved it. I did it during school. And then when I worked for Corporate America, I realized it's not for me. I wanted to open my own business. That was my only other option. I was looking into a couple of things, but really quick when I did one plus one and I realized uh, what would I do, what I love, which is dancing, I decided to open a dance studio uh, in the area where I live. 
And um, nice. And yeah, that was a great experience. The only thing is that um, I opened a dance studio at the beginning of 2008, and. Phew, Oh, yeah. nice. Well, that, was wow. fun. that was a lot of fun. And um, <laughs> um, how to be efficient, how to be effective, how to find ways to uh, create income and, and, and on and on and on. And, um, and one of these ways uh, from parties to events to DVD to private lessons to a bunch of different things that we did to add to the dance studio uh, was to... Uh, the idea of taking our students, our friends, our like people that we know from the studio uh, on a cruise. Uh, we actually wanted to go to create an event, but there are so many great congresses out there and I never been on a cruise before. So I figured, hey, that's a good idea. Cause you know, when you own your own business, you have a lot of free time, you can do what you want. You, no, that's not the case. So you cannot yeah. <laughs> be really busy. So that was a great solution. Uh, for me to take my work with me and be on a cruise for the first time. Next door, we had a travel agency. They said, yeah, sure, we can help you with that. And before you know it, we put a, a post on Facebook. I'm taking you back to 2008. And, uh, nice. and that's where it all started. The cruise was a success. We started as a group. Every year got bigger and bigger till in 2013, we teamed up with the travel agency and uh, we decided to charter the whole ship. And the rest beautiful. is beautiful. Yep. Beautiful, man. Okay. So then how many, uh, how long were you operating your dance studio before you started the cruise? Before I started the cruise, it was almost simultaneously. Um, 2008, okay. 2009 was the first cruise. So six, seven months into, no, I'm sorry, a year into the studio, we announced the cruise and, and a year and a half later, we actually went on the first one. Nice. Okay. Wonderful. And then you said, so, so, okay, well, I'm sure, I'm sure there's always been issues. There's challenges. I'm sure the staff, uh, the issues with the travel agency and stuff like that. But if you're saying that it's been pretty much just been growing and, and up and up since the beginning, man. What a blessing, bro. That's that's absolutely phenomenal, man. That's wonderful. The first, the first cruise didn't have any of that because all it was, the idea, talking to the travel agency, posting on Facebook, and just let it be. We literally promoted the phone number of the travel agency. People called in and booked. Um, nice. And, and in my mind, you know, the most that like a success would be 30, 40, 50 people at the most if we can somehow get them from the studio. Before you know it, people see it on Facebook too, starting to contacting me, different artists that I know, different dancers. Hey, can I bring my friend? Can I bring my cousin? Is it just for people from the studio? I'm like, no, sure. Then a couple of DJs, hey, do you mind if I DJ? I'm like, yeah, let's do it, you know? And right. anyway, DJs join in, instructors join in. We had a bunch of teams and performers that wanted to perform, and I would never forget that number. We ended up a week before the two weeks before the cruise. The agency calls me, and remember, they called in to book, so I didn't know how many people signed up, how many, like what to expect. And um, they called me two weeks before the agency, and they're like, Are you ready? Are you excited? And I'm like, Yeah, what for? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> A lot of people are coming and I really had no clue. I'm like, yeah, what's to accept? How many people signed up? Long story short, 472 people signed up. And um, and yeah, you don't really realize what's 472 people till you actually see them in front of your face. And um, and that, right. was, that was quite of a traumatic experience. <laughs> we weren't ready, but... Um, but we made the most out of it. We had a great event, a lot of dancing. We had shows. We had parties. And, um, yep. I love it. I love it, man. That's absolutely phenomenal. What was the, if you don't mind me asking, what was the, the deal or what was the situation with, if, if the, cause I, because I think, I think we kind of came in on the back end. Um, I think that you had, I think it was like the first year that you had the whole ship or maybe the year before that you had the whole ship. What was the what was the situation or what was the the deal with the cruise line? Was it like a specific night where you had like you had reserved parties for you and then you had like the theater certain nights specifically in as the trade off for babies basically bringing the value for the people that signed up to ad, to advertise it as a dance cruise? Is that is that how it was or 
Yeah, pretty much. So you're referring to uh, as a as a group, and yeah, um, right. Communication was a disaster because the way the cruise line work, um, when you're a group or you go on a cruise, the travel agency is your point of contact. So we, myself, were talking to the travel agency most of the time, asking them for locations and places to do what we want to do, and they communicated to the cruise line, and then they communicated to the travel agency, and anyway, back and forth, right. and they assigned, yeah, they gave us the theater for X amount of time, these rooms for X amount of times, and um, and yep, we made the most out of it. Wonderful, man. That's absolutely phenomenal. That's awesome. How many uh, how many years are, are you now with, with, uh, with ADC? ADC. So, uh, including the groups, you were going back to 2009, um, and as a full ship charter and doing everything on our own, we started in 2013. 2013. Wow, man, that's 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 absolutely awesome. So then now, you started, if I'm not mistaken, last year you had it. Uh, you started off with ADC LA. So that was the first time. Last year was the first time that you did two ships running in one year. 2017, uh, we expanded and we started our West Coast edition. Uh, we had our first cruise in 2017 in the West Coast. So we had one in LA, one in Miami. And then in 2018, we did the same. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's awesome, man. Okay. So then now, after after showing these people the ad, you have – how does it work? So what are, the, what are the ships that are going out now, I guess, present present day – where where is Aventura Dance Cruise at now? Where are they at today? What are you offering, basically, um, your people? If you were to run a thirty second ADC ad, if you want to you know, sell, now it's the time. <laughs> now the time, right now, okay. go. <laughs> uh, in 2019, we're very excited. We took a break from LA because we had a great opportunity to uh, put the first full ship charter with Royal Caribbean uh, to go to Cuba to Havana, Cuba in June. So um, we're doing that in June, going to Cuba. And then in November, we're going to DR for the first time. And um, we have six months apart between both cruises. Both cruises, we added an extra day. So now we're going from Thursday to Monday, like we did in 2017, which was a huge success. Awesome. Uh, that, awesome. that extra one day adds so much to our program because we're all about the experience. And that extra day just give it the whole uh, full experience that we want. So we're excited about that. And again, the destination, the artists, the dancers, the concert artists, Grupo Extra, Oscar de Leon, and um, more artists that we already booked. Very excited about that. Wonderful, man. So, okay, so the, we have two ships going out this year then. Is that right? Two ships, yes, and both from Miami. And both from Miami. Okay, awesome. Okay, so then let me ask you a question, just because I like to – find patterns in things. Um, so last year, last year you did LA and then you did Miami. So now you're doing Cuba and DR. Both. Um, is right from, right. They're both from Miami. Um, but I guess ultimately, do you plan on doing the same locations on a yearly basis or do you plan on kind of trying to do different ones, uh, randomly, if you will? Or, do, or am I not allowed to ask that? I don't want to. I don't want to intrude yeah, either. Yeah. Am I surprised? No, no. Ask whatever you want. Of course. Uh, <laughs> you know, there there are a bunch of variables here. Uh, the first and foremost is what our people want. Uh, we post right. days. We chat on our groups. We email. We like. I travel to congresses and I constantly, you know, ask everyone uh, what they, you know, they feel like. DLA was not a coincidence. You know, um, us going to Cozumel, Mexico and the Bahamas and different locations here from Miami was not a coincidence. And next year, going to Cuba for the first time and DR, these are things that have been on our Facebook and comments and surveys for years. It's just that it took some time since, you know, uh, we got uh, as a country the approval to travel to Havana and the cruise line got into it. So um, the moment we had an opportunity, we uh, grabbed it. And what we're going to do next, we're actually already working on 2020. And all I can say at this point is that, once again, we're going to deliver what people are asking for. And uh, we're changing everything. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm excited. I'm already jacked up for Cuba. Like, super, super honest. I mean, you know I mean, you know me. I'm, I'm Casinero. Um, I love Cuban music. As far as 
quarterback as you'd like. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love it. So uh, definitely, if there's any type of that type of influence, um, we're we're really jacked up. We're really excited about that and uh, the Salsa Kings organization. Say it again. How many ADCs you attended, if any? Uh, no, I have I have done now three. Um, oh. There was one that I that I was I was gonna do the I was gonna do a fourth one I believe it was because I went on this past one the uh, two years ago um, while uh, our professional dancers Emily and Raul they went on the ship I had to stay behind and take care of the studio so uh, that was a reason why I couldn't go uh, that time but no absolutely I love I genuinely really love ADC bottom of my heart uh, an absolute phenomenal experience for those of you that have not done so. Do it, man. I'm telling you, it is absolutely a blast. Um, you do, you do. I mean, obviously, of course, cruises are phenomenal on their own. If you have any type of interest in music or dancing at all, you're just compounding the experience. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, you're, you're taking all of your, you know, your island excursions or whatever the case is. And when you get off, it's just a whole nother party there. Uh, dancing, obviously, of course. Um, not, not necessarily just by yourself either. I mean, you have a bunch of crazy dancers along with you, uh, that are, that are really out there to party and have a great time. And, and, and it's, and it's, it's a blast. I don't know. I really don't know how else to say it. I can say it over and over again, but I'm on your next ABC. Make sure you wear your hat so I can recognize you and come say hi. <laughs> I will. I will make sure to do that, man. Absolutely. No, no, but I, but I have to ask you really quick. I, I'll ask you there for a second. Awesome, man. Okay. So as far as for dance is my business, um, I definitely think that there is a hole or void in this uh, field. I definitely think that there is a lot more creativity. Um, there's a lot more room for those that have the courage to start their own business into doing, you know, something to support, um, you know, Latin dance in particular. I mean, I think that that's something that would push. It's already phenomenal episodes, how, you know, how amazing it is to have some of our some of the salseros that we have grown to, you know, know and love that we've seen on stage on on these on um, dance shows on national television now, um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but to be able to continue to push that and promote that, someone, uh, you know, since two thousand and thirteen, if you will, um, as as pieces of advice, um, and if, if feel free to even give a list, man, because this is really where. Um, the meat and potatoes uh, comes in, or at least the value that I would like to be able to bring, uh, unless anyone else, obviously, of course, has a question um, to to be able to deliver. Um, I know that I know that when I started uh, back in 2007, it was definitely a little bit scary, and I felt I felt alone. Um, I was also very young; um, I was 19, and but definitely, as if if there's definitely someone that is kind of within the same field. That can give me some some little piece that I can bite off of for the future. Uh, I know that I would have definitely appreciated that, and I know that some of that that our podcast listeners are definitely going to go ahead and take advantage of that. What what could you tell them, uh, starting with the step one? And I'll actually, you know, I can even write it down for them here so that it can pop up on the screen. Um, starting, the, feel free. Start from the extreme basics, if you will. Um, I lost you there for a second. I heard, you know, you being uh, uh, starting in 2007, uh, meats and potatoes. I got hungry with that. And then <laughs> start. Um, so if I miss something, just if you don't mind, repeat it again. But um, how to start? Uh, I know it sounds like a, a great cliche, but but you really need to find what you love and, and go after that. Back in uh, 2000 and what was it? seven when i realized when i got my dream job and i got to wear a suit and work for corporate 500 and i still have great friends working in, working in these different companies that i work for um it was just not for me at the time and um i knew i need to be out there i knew i i want to be like with the people i knew i want to do something that is related to customer service and in short, just delivering an experience, a smile on somebody's face was always uh, my thing. 
from a dance studio to to the cruise nowadays. So um, just you know that be persistent. Um, understand persistent. That's 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 definitely I think a huge one. Um, if you don't mind me saying, um, I definitely feel being 2019, uh, millennials, Generation Y, Generation Z, everyone even younger, microwave era. Um, <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't. I can't even. I can't even explain. I mean, I'm I'm an I'm I'm an 80s baby, but but I definitely still feel very connected to the youth and the youth's habits, if you will. Um, but persistence is definitely something that cannot, is not even negotiable. Um, it, it's, it's definitely, so I have to uh, uh, not only agree with you there, and from my personal experience, at least of the, the constant challenges that are presented to you that are forcing you to grow. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in anything or any of you viewers saying, uh, you know, if you have any type of experience in this, please share. Um, but I definitely feel that that's definitely one of the most important ones right after finding what is it that you love? Because I think that, you know, right after, right after, you're not going to be able to be as persistent as you uh, need to be if it's not coming from that place originally. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, persistence, perseverance, uh, uh, you know, the willing to learn and be honest with yourself and not lie to yourself when you don't know something. You know, the ego can play a big role in uh, owning a business. You need to get rid of it right away. Um, but, but you know, now with the dance is my business, I started to do it on uh, like two years ago on one of our cruises. We brought it again last year and I'm bringing it again this year. Now um, I'm actually going to attend a couple of events outside of ABC with, with the concept. In short, it's a concept of networking, sharing experience and talking to DJs, promoters, uh, uh, dancers, uh, musicians, whoever is dancing is in his, his business. Um, just working together to get better and um, and and push each other. So, what I wanted to share with you here, in addition to all the great things uh, and right things that you just said, what I tend to see with all these events uh, is also the need to talk about focus. Focus is okay. something that uh, with with a couple of people that attended our event, I figured that's uh, a, a big. Thing. What do I mean by that? You can do a bunch of things at the same time, but understand that when you do a bunch of things, uh, something got to go, something got to give. And, um, and at least at the beginning, uh, you want to really focus and master your craft and, um, and, and not you know, try to do too many things and then have nothing. So for the people, right. find, it, it basically boils down to respect. You, know, you need to respect anything that you're trying to do. If you want to be a DJ, you really need to understand yeah, you can do it as a side job on a Friday, one hour in a pizza place. But the truth is that, you know, to be a real DJ, not a real, but like a big DJ and keep on growing and have your following, you need to respect that, you know, um, profession and, and understand what it takes. It's not just about pressing play. Uh, so go, same goes to uh, being a performer, you know, uh, putting an event together, together um, owning a dance studio. You know, um, and by the way, that's a part of the reason why I stuck with the dance studio and I focus on the cruise uh, really quick. I learned, you know, I can do both, but none of them going to be as good as they could. And I decided to go with the cruise. Um, but anyway, focus, because I meet a lot of people that are performers, but at the same time, they own a dance studio. And at the same time, they also put an event together. And at the same time, they DJ because they don't have enough money to hire a DJ and, and and maybe they even are the photographers at the same time. Look, it, it's all good and yes, right. do it. But if you really want to perform and take it to the next level, if you really want to put an event and, and have more than 55 people there, you really need to put, you know, some time into it and understand what it takes, you know? That's, that's, that's huge. That's a, that's a huge one, man. And I definitely, I, I, I doubled down on that one as well, man, a hundred percent. Um, at least, you know, just from my experience, at least. But you had mentioned uh, that that you talk about the, that you do a workshop on on the cruise about things like this in particular. You said, 
Yeah, I like to call it more like a networking event because it's not like I'm standing on stage and I'm just like, uh, you know, rah-rah about myself and what I did. I talk a little bit about myself, but immediately after I take questions and I talk to everybody else and we all share a conversation, people get to know each other. And the idea is anything, like the, the dance is my business has no plan. Like I have my, like a general idea of, of what we're gonna talk about, but when I get to the location, the workshop, uh, uh, the, the Congress, I really quick realize who are attending. I ask people what is it that they do, if there are DJs, promoters, dancers, or just people that want to learn about ABC, and I take it from there. Right, right. Okay. Wow, man. Okay, so then that's so then that's awesome. So that you so and and you've been doing and you've been doing that workshop uh, recently. You started doing that recently. Yeah. Uh, by the way, shout out here to uh, one of our friend Mario Che. Just uh, post a cute comment. I really appreciate his support. He mentioned something about the book that I came up with uh, two years ago. Um, never in my life I thought that me, you know, from old people, I'm going to write a book. But but the book is basically a short read very fun and easy um, and it was one of these things that when I heard it too many times I, I realized I need to do something about it and it's basically shared the story of ABC and uh, when so nice. many people kept on asking and how does it like just like yourself right now five minutes ago how you know if you read right. my book you would have known but no. Nah. So, <laughs> nice. so, so I put it together and, and it's a nice thing and I keep giving it away or, or people are getting it and, on the cruise and um, just basically sharing the story. So just like the book, um, when we started with something completely different, we started with behind the scenes. That's how we call it, where the entire team come together and we still do it uh, on, on our uh, cruises. And people just come and ask questions about the cruise, what it takes, um, meet the people behind the phone lines and the computers, um, the people that actually do everything uh, with me here from hiring the artist to picking up the phone, managing reservations. And anyway, um, a lot of questions about business and how and how and how uh, started to arise. And that's how the whole dance is my business concept came to play. Um, again, like the dance studio, like the cruise, like the behind the scenes, like dance is my business, like the book, uh, dance to success. It's just listening. It's it's as simple as that. If people are asking for a dance studio in your area because there's nothing, maybe it's a good idea to consider it. You know, um, right. no uh, event at sea on a cruise ship uh, or or a seminar like this one. I'll I'll keep on doing it as long as people attend. The day that we're gonna have zero people attending, you know, okay, maybe it's not a good idea. So would you say uh, you said listen? So. Uh, I guess just paying attention um, to your audience, I guess, if you will. I put it there down there on the bottom um, that, you know, perhaps there's a lot more value. Well, I mean, ultimately, it's your 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 clients or your customers is basically who you're catering to, to, to begin with. So if they're pretty much telling you what is it that they're willing to do um, or what they would like, then then – you can pretty much assume, correct me if I'm wrong, that there's others that feel the same way that are just not saying anything. Yep, listening, um, put your ego aside. Um, and, and it's not just one person, like you need a series of, of either complaints or comments or advices like that, that at some point, sure. you know, I personally like the number three. When somebody mentions something more than three times, like two, three different people say the same thing, I'm starting to think about it. Obviously, at five, at ten, that becomes a serious thing. And right. and and yeah, and and like you teach dance, you know, it's great to come with a game plan and know what to teach. But it's, in my opinion, also as somebody who used to teach, I always ask people to their level what they're trying to accomplish, what they feel they should work uh, on before I start my class. And then I go on. Obviously, as an instructor, you have the eye to see their level and, and match it with their expectation. But, um, but basically, just, you know, um, listen to everybody else. I, I hear you. That's, 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 definitely, that's definitely a great one. Um, and apparently, uh, our, our friend Mario Chair over here thinks that that's great advice as well. So thank you for that, Mario. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, appreciate that, man. I, I agree. I, I, I feel like, um, I mean, I can, as far as for putting eagles aside, I could definitely admit to that myself as well. Um, that, you know, that I could definitely tune that.
portion up, um, you know, on my side as well. You know, I could definitely, um, you know, listen a little bit better, tune, tune in a little bit more as there's definitely a lot of value there that can, um, that can obviously come to ultimately help me and myself and in, and in, and in my business, which is always, which is always really good. Is um, best thing. Let me tell you something like you, we always as business owners, as uh, producers, we try to think about the next thing. Just ask, you know, Hey, what party would you like to see? What day you think we should do it at? What classes we should add more of, you know, which instructor we should hire, what concert artists you want to see, what theme party you want. It's just, I don't need to think anymore. I just post right. now with the polls and everything on this little thing. <laughs> Powerful. I run it by the team and uh, it's good to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that's definitely that's definitely really awesome too. Um, you know that that uh, that the people can feel uh, that they have a a sense of power or they have a sense of, you know, a belonging or uh, influence, I guess is really the word to an experience in your case um that they're ultimately going to be attending and have an influence when it comes to that then then um then definitely they're going to be even more motivated when that happens or comes through so that's definitely really that's really phenomenal man um and definitely I'll, I'm, I'm here i'm here taking notes myself um to definitely go about making that happen man then so that's so that's uh, awesome so i can take some notes myself too what did you like about adc uh or in which adc you like the most and why well, the one, the one, the one that I've been on, uh, the, the all, all the times that I went on is is the one in Miami, um, and I really like, I really really like. Well, first of all, I love the concerts. That's that's obvious. I'm a huge fanatic of live music. Uh, anybody that that tunes into my show, I talk about it all the time. Um, you know, for those for for a dancer that's connected and really really you know can feel the difference. Of, a CD or, you know, in live music when you have an artist that's, that's really pouring their heart out, um, to you and giving you the fuel to dance. Uh, and you're able to manifest that, uh, as a dancer, it's definitely, it's, it's, uh, euphoria is the word. It's an absolute euphoria. So I love the live music. Um, but I, another thing that I really like is the, the parties when we get down off of the boat, I think they're absolutely phenomenal. They're a lot of fun. Everybody gets into it together. Um, you know, you're normally having a little, um, uh, uh, not a performance, if you will, but you have normally a host that's following along and getting everyone engaged and, th and things like that. So even if you're not necessarily a dancer or call yourself a dancer, anybody that's that's not, you know, necessarily in the scene is definitely going to have a good time, even if you're the entire time just being able to engage and watch everyone else um is definitely something that uh is 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 a blast i can i can definitely put myself in the sitting position and still have a phenomenal time with a drink in my hand um and and would have um and would have a blast regardless of that so those are probably those are the two um moment say it again a favorite moment on abc I had a phenomenal dance uh, with my business partner um, listening to a Canario. Uh, there wasn't even seats. It was completely slammed. Uh, we were on the second deck um, and we were in the passageway. We were dancing in the passageway um, and we were, we were able to see down. Uh, so we were able to watch him uh, but at the same time, we had our own little space, and any dancer would be able to tell you, um, uh, you know, that space is obviously, of course, really nice too. So we had our own little space, and we 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 danced, we danced to Canario, and I think he was doing his improv. You know how he does; he's yeah. so phenomenal. Oh my god! And uh, definitely a blast. That's that's probably my number one uh, ADC moment, aside from you know the the reas that we do. You know, the reas that we do at, at ADC, those are definitely a lot of fun. Um, and with our students that, that come on board, and we always have, you know, a few that come in from the outside as well, and, and we kind of get everybody engaged as well. So that's that's always a lot of fun, man. But definitely when you're when you're surrounded, if you're a dancer and you're surrounded by dancers or if you just love music in general, um, you know, it, it's easy to have a good time at, 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 a, 
at a at a venue like yours or or, or a party like yours. Mario says front row seat with the best artists on the planet. I got a great picture with Hiberto Santa Rosa and El Canario with Jennifer Fiallo. An insane value, Mario. I couldn't agree with you more, man. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, definitely a blast. That's a that's a great way to put it. You're you're able to you know you're able to interact that closely with with the artist. So so Moshe, thank you. And apparently we have you know our fans here that that feel the same way. So thanks again for all the good comments. The reason why I asked you is because you know um, everybody that thinks, or and especially if they've been on ABC, they know about the big ships. They know about the concert artists. They know about these amazing dancers that we bring to perform on on the cruise. But one thing that I learned over these ten years now of of being ABC is that. You know, it's really, it really boils down to the experience. And what makes the cruise different than an event on land, in my opinion, and what got me to do it back in 2009, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the intensity of where, you know, you see each other more often, you dance more often, the interaction is more, you know, we're all on the same boat. And those moments, like one of those that you just remember, you know, described being on the second deck, watching the concert artist, dancing with my boys, me, with my friends, with my yeah. business partner, you know, that, that's it. You know, like I travel, I talk to people and I always ask the same question because they say, oh my God, this concert artist, this dancer, this workshop, and it's all true. All of these things add to the experience. That's why we have it. And by the way, I'm a huge fan of, of live music. Uh, one of the easiest way to save money is just bring a couple of DJs. Why do you need 22 people band and an artist right. arm, and an, uh, arm and a leg? But um, but anyway, it's all a part of the experience. But the real experience is what happened. Uh, I like to say everything that is not on the schedule. That's that's what people really take home, uh, remember, and that's what gets them to come again. And um, these are the things that we as a company focusing on more than anything else even though on the flyer you see the dates and the ship and the location but it's really right. yep absolutely absolutely and, and 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 i gotta give it i gotta hand it up to your staff as well um that they're able to they do they do a really good job as far as for the transitioning as well of everything um and kind of allowing that space for all that to happen too um which is great man which is great and then and then your team your media team as well uh, capturing everything and being able to, you know, get back to the people quickly because you know I I I, I don't I could say at least for the dancers we're definitely really picky and really um, adamant about seeing the videos and seeing the pictures as soon as possible yep. uh, and you deliver that which is which is awesome man so I would probably say another one too um, you know uh, definitely being on, uh, what we like to call arriba de la ola you know is 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 being on top of your game. Um, and 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 continuing to to deliver that on a consistent basis, um, which is you know to deliver what what people love, but and on a on, in a way that it's that it's consistent. They can count on that every single time, and that's not variable. That every single time that they they deal with your brand, um, and not just yours, like any brand, that it's going to be consistent with what they experienced in the past. If that's if that's something that they were looking to get from the get go, so um, that's absolutely phenomenal, man. So so continue continue uh, to thank you for that. To, to that team that you just mentioned, my team, uh, they work uh, with their hearts and they work their butt off, if I'm allowed to say it live. And uh, <laughs> sure, and they just really love what they do. And um, every time we have a situation, we always uh, now as a team we ask, what's the best that we can do for our member our client our family you know and um and when you come from that approach it's the easiest thing absolutely man absolutely um as and as far as for with our organization is concerned we try and look at it as a big family and and i think i think um as the years go on i think a lot of um a lot of our family is doing the same thing we're really starting to come together um, and, 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 and it's thanks to organizations like yours that allow us to, to make that happen, to get, have the opportunity for everybody to come together under one roof, uh, even though there's no roof, <laughs> no. <laughs> no roof. Um, but, but absolutely, man. So, so thank you for that. So if I, I guess to conclude, um, where, uh, maybe not specifics, but where do you see ADC as a company going? Um, is it 
is it i mean it, i mean this might be a silly question but is it is it specifically because i know there was aventura dance studio before now there's aventura dance cruise i mean are we eventually gonna see aventura dance blank airline i, I don't know airline there you go something like that i don't know How about that all the people traveling here dancing while they do that um you know we, we're thinking about a bunch of things, but right now it's really about the brand, how we can grow. Um, uh, about ADC specifically, the Latin Dance Cruise uh, uh, events and charters that we put together, we wanna focus more on the experience, even more. Um, over the years, we grew a lot. Last year, we had the biggest ship we ever had in 3,200 people all at once in one boat. Um, and it was great. Nice. That cruise was concert focused. The idea was to have that massive stage and those amazing concert artists. And it was just absolutely phenomenal. I would never trade it back. But um, now we want to go back to basics, like we say in dancing. And we want to focus more on that intimacy, uh, exclusivity, and more one-on-one -on -one with our people. Therefore, uh, we added an extra day on both cruises. We're going on small right. ships on, on next cruises. Um, actually, the one to Cuba is the smallest ship uh, you, we can possibly charter from the major cruise line, not a small one. And we have okay. only 1,600 people joining us. And um, for DR, we're going back on the ship that we've been using for the last five years of 2,200 people, but at least it's not 32. Uh, so right. we really want to focus on the fact that we can see people more often. Everybody can see each other more often. I mean, I haven't seen you this year, uh, last year. And, uh, right, right, right. And um, and also with the concert artists, like it's great to have a massive stage, and we're gonna have one pretty, you know, nice size. But I want them to be closer to the people and um, and things from that nature. So for ADC, we want to continue de developing the brand, deliver better experiences, and as long as people show up, we're gonna have more cruises. Um, as a company, we are actually now forming, uh, we formed, I should say, a production company uh, that specializes in events, and especially on cruises. And we're right now talking to different corporations, artists, and um, and other people that want to put their own cruises together. And um, we would love to be the company that does that for them. Uh, just pretty much like a wedding planner, you know, it's their wedding, but we are going to be the people that are going to help them to manage the res reservation, hire the vendors, negotiate with the cruise line, and share our experience, and uh, keep on growing. So we have some exciting stuff. Uh, coming uh, soon, and um, and more ADCs, just different genres of music, that would be also really cool. Okay, yeah, that's a huge one too, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely, uh, you know, I, I always try and think of always the branding myself. Aventura Dance Cruise says n there's nothing on there that references Latin, um, which is phenomenal. So definitely that opens that up, if that's definitely, you know, if that's something that you're looking to do. Uh, that would be huge. That would be a that would be a really 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 big deal. Um, um, in the days of the dance studio, I called the dance studio Aventura Dance, and now the Aventura Dance Cruise. That was very creative, <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> uh, the cruise was not. But the dance, the idea was to not limit yourself to just salsa or just bachata. Um, uh, basically, again, goes down to what people want. So when we had a dance, right. or when I used to ask um, our peeps. Uh, you know, we added flamenco, we added hip hop, we had tango for many years, um, belly dancing. You know, dancing is is one big thing, and there is no, in our opinion, to limit. Now on ABC, of course, uh, uh, we focus on salsa and bacha bachata, but nowadays we add more and more classes from hip hop to dance hall. Uh, we every now and then we bring tango, uh, belly dancing, believe it or not, and uh, right. of course all the types of salsa. Nowadays, you have all the types of bachata that people want uh, to learn and dance to. And, uh, and of course, the usual beginner, intermediate, advanced. So, um, so why limit yourself? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I think that's a, uh, you know what? That's a big one too, man. Um, if I can put that on there, I, I, I don't know if you meant that as a point, but that's definitely a big one is to, I guess, Go big or go home is what I like to say, uh, or why limit yourself? Um, Depends on you know, your that model. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Listen, um, Porsche, uh, uh, Toyota sells more cars than Lamborghini. Absolutely. What you're trying to you know, sell. So um, 
go big or go home. But as long as you do you, as long as you have fun during the process, because there are going to be times, and God knows I know a few, uh, when you're going to have challenges and days that you don't want to do what you do. But if you really like it at the end of the day and you keep reminding yourself, you know, that why that all the mentors always talk about, that's um, that's what you're going to pull you through, and that's for sure. I, I agree. I, okay, so then know your why. Yep. Let's, know your why. Let me, let let's, me put that on there. <laughs> know your why. Know yourself. <laughs> um, be an expert in what you do. Uh, focus. Be persistent. You know, look, I mean, it, it's all, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm not like, you know, inventing anything there. It's just like, right. It's like diet. You know, you want to lose weight. That there's so many like just Google it's it's completely free or if you want to make money and, and on and on and on it's just a matter of actually doing it and and consistently right absolutely uh, and I think that's that's a big one too man uh, you had actually touched on it briefly but I don't think I was able to uh, elaborate on it the way that I would have liked to is the if you don't know something is the ability to go look it up or to search it or do research uh it's so easy to google something now um but you know perhaps take it even in a step further uh as opposed to just clicking the first article on the first page but to really really look into it um pick up a book guys all this stuff uh you know that that that, that moshe thank god has been saying is, is is in you look up you know top 10 self-help books and everything you know is going to be is going to be there. It, it, it's incredible, you know, the amount of information that is already written down for our free availability in a public library or you know on Google nowadays. It's absolutely incredible. A lot of things are free, and I agree a hundred percent. But you know, sometimes for twenty bucks, you can pick up a book of somebody with like forty years of experience. You know, twenty dollars. Oh. So, Absolutely. You no, know, and let me tell you, I bought a bunch of books. I attended a bunch of seminars, and some of them were, you know, not that good. But the right. idea is to keep on going, keep on trying, and sometimes you pick up one thing out of a full week, and it was all worth it. Now, at the same time, I know a lot of people that constantly read the books and go to all the seminars that they can only attend. There is also come a comes a time where you need to stop, you know, attending and start doing. Because that can be some sort of an escape for a lot of people. Let me keep on learning, uh, you know. But um, but yeah, it's all out there. And eventually, like when you do it and you do it over and over again, that's the best best university. Beautiful, beautiful, Moshe. Thank you very, very, very much. I really, really appreciate your time. Uh, definitely a lot of little golden nuggets here um, that I hope uh, you know our viewers are that are listening now live or that will tune in later. Uh, we'll be able to pick up and, 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 and hopefully help them along there, either their dance journey, their business journey, or both. Um, hopefully both. That would be absolutely phenomenal if we can inspire somebody to do that, by all means. Um, thank you for every single one of you that are listening. For, for you, deliver for everybody. That's, that's definitely the idea. And... Um, Again, if you are looking to receive text messages, if you're listening to the podcast version of this, uh, you're going to text the word join. Uh, directly to your phone so that you can join us live here with us. Uh, that's some. Um, uh, definitely a great way to uh, be able to interact with us. Manny, how you doing, bro? Great to see you, man. Yeah. Uh, Manny Morales tuning in. Bien duro. Way by mano. Good to see you, man. I love the comment. Uh, I love the comment. For, for sure. For sure. Thank you, Mario. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for always being a fan, man. Uh, always, always appreciate it, bro. Keep up the good work. You and Jeanette are killing the game. Guess what? Um, it's going to be on ABC. Oh, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Moshe, I don't want to take up any of your time. It is almost 10 p.m. here. Uh, thank you so, so much again. Um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I'll, I'll continue to say it over and over again. But um, 
Let's keep in touch. Uh, I will definitely be seeing you, ADC Cuba. Super, super excited about that. The fam, the fam is going to be coming through and rolling through as well. Um, so I will see you then. All right, let's do it again. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here. One hundred. 100. Thanks so much, Moshe. Have a great night. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next week.